Okay, here I am, and I'm just going to double check my animation here uh, again. And let's see here, maybe I need one more frame. Nope, there's another jump. So I, I've got, I've picked, um, let's see here, how many frames? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine total frames, which is not actually a lot. So what I might want to do is, uh, I might want to use five also in four, and I might want to double check my picks here uh, to see if I might want a few more frames to work with. But uh, I was thinking that, let's see here, okay, and I just toggle the eyeballs on off and on to get a feel for the animation. So this would be the first frame, layer two. Uh, but if I wanted to, I could also do layer 1 and 2-2. Two, two. But you see, I just move the camera from 1 to 2, so I don't need 1. I think I'll just start with 2. So, um, and then what I might do is, right here on my uh, window, I have my rulers open. If you, As you can see that, I've got view, uh, rulers showing. And then I can grab uh, with my move tool a ruler, and I can kind of place where he's at, you see. And I can see over here on frame 12 where he ends up. Okay, on frame 12 he ends up right here. Okay, and I like his shadow, so I'm going to put a marker at his shadow here. I want to make sure I get that in, keep that. And then I'll scroll down here to 2. And I see that his shadow on 2 is all the way over here. So as far as I can tell, I probably don't need the rest. And when he jumps up high, let's see here, he's right up here. His hand crosses here a little bit. So I'm trying to get the boundaries for my animation, find out where the beginning and the end is. OK, so I'm thinking I might be safe right about here. I just want to make sure I don't cut any off. And there's the bottom. Oh, look at that. That goes over to the side there. And then the bottom. OK. And I'm just bordering it off just so I get a sense. Oh, look at that. The shadow goes all the way to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is um, these are not helping me too much. I'll get my crop tool and I'm just going to crop off a little. So I'll just crop off and look, my crop tool won't, it's not working correctly. So um, don't crop. I'll get my crop tool again and I need to clear the dimensions and drag. I think I'll just crop off. The left side. So now this is my image. And now what time? What uh, what time it is? Is uh, it's time to start fixing my image uh, f for importing into uh, Flash. And what I want to do is starting with layer two here. I'm going to um, delete my layer one. So I'll just trash can layer one. I'm going to start at layer two. And what I think I'll do is, just to make things easy, is get my uh, eraser tool. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to erase the stuff that I don't want. And um, I'm going to keep his shadow, and I'm going to keep him. And I'll change my eraser from block mode to brush mode. And I can change the size of my brush by using the bracket keys. Um, and I'll just erase this. And I'm going to erase everything but him and his shadow. And I'm going to do it 13 times. And then I'm going to import everything into Flash in frames. And I'll have a little jumping character, which I can use in Flash in movies. I could put it on a website. I can do all kinds of stuff with it. So, but right now, I've got to just make sure I got to do some some grunt work here 
and I've got to do a lot of erasing. And I suggest that when you do this assignment, try to limit yourself to about 12 frames or 12 layers so that you're not erasing for uh, three weeks. So I'm going to limit myself to about 12 layers, and I'm going to do this erasing. And I'm doing this the slow way, by the way. I mean, there are quicker ways of doing this, but you know what? When you're learning, the quickest way is not the best. The, um, the slowest way is the best. So, oops, I need a smaller um, brush, so I go to my brackets, get a smaller um, eraser, not, you know, brush eraser. Now I'm just going to uh, erase as best I can. Now, if I want to make sure, sometimes it's hard to tell with this gray that I'm erasing right to the edge. So what I might do is, is I'll go down here to my palette, and I'll make a new layer. And then what I want to do is I'm going to drag this down. I'm going to drag that layer to the bottom. So this will be my background layer. I can just double click on that and call background. Okay. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll click here on, um, on this color chip, and I'll get a color red or pink or something. Uh, red. It's off screen. Get red. Click OK. And I'll get my paint bucket, and I'll paint the background color red. So now it's a lot easier to erase on layer two because I have this red color that I'm erasing to, and it'll be really easy to see when I mess up or if I don't erase enough. Right? So, but look, that's perfect right there. And I can just erase. Now, I suggest that when you use the eraser tool and you're doing this, that you do it in short strokes. And if you mess up, use your history palette. This is the history palette to go back in time by just going back one step at a time using your history tool. And hopefully if you're uh, hopefully you've used Photoshop before and so this is actually pretty easy for you. Uh, once again there's better ways of isolating the characters so if you know how to work with masks or the selection tool or something like that great but this is for beginners I'm assuming you guys don't know how to use Photoshop and so what we do is we brought in these layers and I'm just working on layer two right now and I'm just erasing with my eraser tool and the red background layer is shining through and I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna do it for 13 frames and once we have all 13 frames erased that's where the next video will pick up okay see you then happy erasing